YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a grocery shopping haul with you guys. So I just went shopping and I got a lot of stuff. I decided that I'm only going to, I'm going to try to start buying groceries once a week and then doing that instead of going and spending a shit ton of money at once and then stuff goes bad. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show that with you guys today. I'm just going to open the bags and we will start. Don't mind how I look like crap. I just got back from the gym and then I went grocery shopping and I'm hot and sweating and I'm starving. So, okay, to first start off, I of course got my Fairlife milk. I'm obsessed with this milk. Um, macros are zero fat, six carbs, and 13 grams of protein for one cup. So, really good macros. So, Fairlife, this is the that's free one. They have chocolate, 1%, 2%. They have everything. The chocolate is also really good, but okay. Stuff for Kyle, of course, which is all unhealthy stuff. I got some sweet potatoes because you can't go wrong with sweet potatoes. I am obsessed with sweet potatoes. I got some avocado um, for smoothies and to put on other things. I got some boneless chicken breasts to... Um, make tonight for meal prepping. I have not tried these seasonings before, but I got this Montreal steak, let's see, Montreal steak seasoning, and this barbecue one. So I'm gonna put these on my chicken to see if I can get them, you know, a little bit more seasoning and get to get some better taste from that. Last thing out of the first bag is I got to cantaloupe. I'm gonna cut that up and measure it out okay. these are not for me these are for Kyle <sighs> pizza rolls Kyle I got some vegetables so I'm going to steam those up and you'll prep those for this week and of course my favorite oatmeal cookie halo top and peanut butter cup halo top so, yum. I don't think I've had the peanut butter cup one yet, but I am obsessed with the oatmeal cookie one. So freaking good. Next, um, for Kyle, I got these Fiber One bars. He loves those for breakfast. Um, I got these grilled chicken breast strips. So they're already made, so I can just like throw them in something. Obviously, it's easier to um, buy chicken, but um, this has two grams of fat, one carb, and 20 grams of protein for three ounces. So... I thought this was a very good find. Just for something quick if I'm like in a rush this week or I'm busy. Um, Sugar-free hazelnut for my coffee. I got some more nanners. Plus they're really good for smoothies. So if anybody, um, I'm going to be doing more smoothie recipes. So I got a lot of stuff for smoothies. But if you're starting to notice that your bananas, um, I got like, not ripe ones because they go bad so quick um for my smoothies i'll just throw them in the freezer then and um it's actually not that hard to unwrap them or otherwise you can unpeel them and then put them in like a ziploc bag and throw them in the freezer it's great for quick smoothies um and i'm going to um start making smoothies um putting all the recipes in a bag and then in the morning just throw it all quickly in the blender so it'll be way quicker than having to you know, do it individually every single morning because I'm not a morning person. I got some zucchini because I know I talked about this in like a long video before, how I have my um, zoodle maker, my, you know, making the zoodles. Yeah, making zoodles. So um, I, I'm going to make them. So I bought these because I, you'd be surprised at how many people are like, how's your zoodle making thing? And I'm like, haven't even opened it yet so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do it I'm gonna film it I'm gonna show you guys okay I got some tropical fruit for some more smoothies I got some broccoli not frozen kind so um I'm gonna steam the other ones and these ones I'm gonna kind of like saute on the um, I'm gonna saute them onto the stove I got some baby spinach um, for those who really know me, they know that I hate salad. Lettuce, mm-mm, fear of lettuce, F-O-L, fear of lettuce. I 
hate lettuce. Okay, anyways, so um, I when I do get spinach, I um, the only way I can eat it is if I load it with dressing and a bunch of stuff that's not bad for you, which makes the salad, might as well have a Big Mac. But I got these because I'm gonna start incorporating smoothies way more because not only um, are they convenient, but you can put a lot of stuff in there and hide it. So I'm gonna start um, being more consistent with putting like spinach and other like greens and vegetables um, because sometimes it's really hard to get all those in and they go bad so quickly. So um, that is what I'm gonna start doing so I can get some more spinach into my diet. I got some ground turkey breast, extra lean. Um, for four ounces, this one has 1.5 grams of fat, zero carbs, and 26 grams of protein. I'm being meal prepping and filming it, so if that's something you're interested in, like this video, and I will make sure I do that. For Kyle, ham. Oh, you know what I just realized? I didn't get him any bread to put that on. Sorry, babe. Um, next thing I got was some for Kyle, 2% cottage cheese for me, fat-free cottage cheese. So for a fat-free cottage cheese, zero fat, five carb, 13 protein. For Kyle's, I'm going to compare, 2.5 fat, four carb, and 13 grams of sh protein. So actually, even if you get the 2%, it only has 2.5 fat instead of zero it actually has one gram left, left of carbs. So if you compare them, here's the fat-free one, and here is the 2% one. So if you see, actually there's not that bad of a difference. So um, if you do, do need more fats, there you go. I found this, which if any of you guys watch a lot of YouTube videos, or if you don't, um, I'm addicted to YouTube videos, that's what I watch all the time. Um, and other major, like, bigger places where other YouTubers film. They always have things like this, and I was so excited. I want to give a shout-out to my local Elmers because, holy crap, they have stepped up so much. I, when I first started watching YouTubers, like, fitness YouTubers, and watching, like, their full day of eating and things like that, I was like, unless I order off Amazon, I could not get any of those things, like Halo Top or, um... Just a bunch of stuff that I couldn't get in this town because it's so little. And now I can almost find everything at my local Elmer's grocery store. And I'm so jacked because I would rather support um, like a local place than like ordering things off Amazon. So I found cauliflower rice. So I'm going to mix these in with like my oats or like saute them and put them. I'm just going to do so much stuff with this. So, another way to get some vegetables in. So, I'm super excited. Um, the nice thing about the cauliflower rice is that it's already, I don't know if you can see that, it's already, like, chopped up. So, uh, like I said, I've seen a lot of people use these. Um, it says, cauliflower rice is perfect for sauteing, mashing, roasting, or steaming. So, there's so many things that you can do with the cauliflower rice, and I'm super excited, and I will let you guys know how that goes. Um, I got these three cheese Italian style chicken sausage. Kyle loves them. He likes to make them with like potatoes and eggs. Why are you always crying? Does anyone have a dog who cries so much? Come here. Why are you so sad? Come here. This is my baby. This is my baby. She's so whiny. Say hi, Bill. Okay. And last but not least, I got four things of egg whites um, for three tablespoons, 46 grams, zero fat, one carb, five protein. So there you go. So um, I have a couple recipes I'm going to be doing. Um, I know I started my whole like um, series and I've been trying to like be on the game of eating better and working out. And... It's kind of been going okay. I have been eating better, but I have not been eating as good as I should have. So today, I the problem is, for me, and some people could disagree, if I don't meal prep, I tend to do really bad. I either, I either overeat and eat really crappy, or I undereat, which is also, then my body just stores fat. So um, it doesn't really matter for me if I undereat or overeat, I don't lose weight. So, um... 
I am going to start meal prepping, following my macros again. I know I've said this like a million times, but I mean it this time. I This is the first time I've been grocery shopping in a long time. So, I'm super excited to meal prep. I'm going to film stuff for you and show you guys what I'm making. Um, I literally find that meal prepping is the easiest way to stay on track because otherwise if you're like me and you're busy um, and you have bad cravings, then after work, you're hungry now, you go through drive through lunchtime, huh, you're gonna go through the drive through you're gonna eat bad things. So, I am super jacked to get back on track, honestly get back on track. I have not weighed myself yet this week, so I will give you guys a weigh-in update from last time I weighed in, which I think I was like 183, so hopefully I can get that down more this week. I am starting a new workout regimen. I started today. I did back and hamstrings, and I'm honestly feeling a little sick because I've not worked out that hard in a while. So I'm super excited. I'm going to stay on track with that. I'm going to keep you guys updated. And thank you guys so much for watching. And um, with my last video talking about like depression and anxiety, I just want to thank those who supported me and um, looked out for me and were caring about it. It's like I said, it's a hard thing for people to talk about, but it's a normal, not normal, but so many people go through it that nobody wants to talk about it and the stigma on it. But I just wanted to show and talk to everybody because it is a thing um, and people go through it and you go through it up and down and I'm feeling really motivated right now. Not saying that my depression is gone or anything, but um, you know, if you, if you go through it, you know that you have good days and bad days. So... I just want to thank everybody again. If you like this grocery haul, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not. And comment below your favorite meal prep idea. So then I can get more ideas and then maybe others can comment and we'll all get more ideas. So comment below your favorite meal prep um, food to make. And like I said, like and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.